If the particle's velocity changes with time, then it is said to be accelerating, and the average acceleration is defined as the change in the particle's velocity over the time interval, and the SI units of acceleration is meter per second squared. So acceleration is a vector quantity because it is defined in terms of velocity, and note that it describes the change in both the magnitude and direction of the velocity. So the direction of acceleration is not necessarily in the same direction as velocity, and this is because the acceleration acceleration direction is in the same as the direction of delta v, not v. So for an object moving in a straight line like this car, then the acceleration is parallel to v if v is increasing and anti-parallel if v is decreasing because as you can see, A is in the same direction as delta V. And for motion along a curved path with a constant speed, A is perpendicular to V at each point along the path. And if the velocity is changing in both magnitude and direction, then A will be directed at some angle to V.